group of passionate musicians and performers are changing perspectives on autism. That's right. CBS 2's Jasmine Veal is here now with a nonprofit organization that is helping musicians on the autism spectrum become and get their careers and break their stigmas as well. Right, Jasmine? Yeah, this is such a positive news story. We need more of these stories in people like Jenny and Susha, who I met today, two aspiring singers and songwriters, and they're part of the Jazz Hands for Autism. This is an amazing nonprofit that helps young musicians with autism hone their skills for the real world and pursue their dreams. Uh, the lyrics, please. The lyrics in yeah. Studio? Jenny Velasco prepares to sing one of her favorite Christina Aguilera songs in a tiny rehearsal studio off Exhibition Boulevard. Every day is so wonderful. She's 23 years old and has autism. Singing is a way to express herself because communicating with others is difficult. Sing, just sing. I sing and I write songs. Then there's the spunky Susha Moretsky. If you feel your feelings take hold and you feel like losing control. My dream is to be a musician and activist. Growing up wasn't easy though for the 27 year old diagnosed with autism, scoliosis and Asperger's. Very, very, very shy. Very panicked, very nervous. I spilled things, I tripped a lot. I ran away from people. They're both part of the Jazz Hands for Autism. Ifunanya Nowiki started the nonprofit four years ago after working with students with autism. She now produces two concerts a year. Her ninth concert was held just two weeks ago. Ten musicians played in front of a hundred people. Most of them, like Jenny and Susha, are part of the Jazz Hands Academy, a full-time vocational and job placement program for musicians on the autism spectrum. It's like putting a mirror and showing you this is who you are. You're this capable. You're this amazing. I am beautiful. And helped them believe they are beautiful in every single way. Can bring me down. Wow, I mean, we're just talking about these amazing kids and, and to hear them jam together, that's incredible. Jazz Hands for Autism gets government funding, but of course they need donations, they need volunteers, they need employers to step up. The Academy, by the way, opened to students 18 years and older with interest in music, and November 17th is the next big concert. Well, gotcha. I hope we meet some of them Saturday. Yeah, we will. It's Stephanie's Day. Hopefully they'll be performing. I was going to say they should That's perform. That's fantastic. Be great. Yeah. Well, yeah. I'll be balling as usual. Love that. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Jasmine. And as we were talking about, this Saturday is Stephanie's Day right here on the CBS lot in Studio City. The resource fair is a special day for children and others with special needs. The annual event runs from 10 a.m. until 2 p.m. And if you want to hear those fantastic musicians there, come on out. Yeah, such a great day. It looks it like is. the weather's going to be fantastic for the Saturdays, too. So we hope to see you all there.